Hello everyone, today I'll be doing a solo Grandmaster run with Warlock. For my subclass, I'll be using the Prismatic with the Stasis Winter's Thrath. Here are the mods and fragments I'll be using in this video. For my Kinetic, I'll be using the Stasis Grenade. Next, I'll be using the Pulse Rifle with the Jolt Feedback. For my Heavy, I'll be using Anarchy with the cute Donning Ornament. This week, I decided to go for the Warlock and get Platinum Rank. I am skipping the Unstoppable Champion because Bungie decided to add an additional champion. This champion never existed since the beginning of the Nightfall and then past seasons, they decided to add this one. So you can get Platinum Rank, you don't need to take him down. And now we're gonna go and spam the Bungie out of abilities, Prismatic. Which is going to be very fun because now I'm going to be spamming grenade launcher and yes, I know you are watching this. I am using one for all for the stasis grenade launcher. Alright, now I'm using all loading holster because why not? I mean, I could use demolitionist, but I'm going to use the other perk. Because I really like it. So now I'm going to take down two unstoppable champions. There was a bang, but he got disintegrated from the turrets. Because now we're going to play a little aggressive. And then just get this run done and over it. So I am using the Winter's Thrath. And they have buff, Bungie buff, all the Roman supers. I want to try out this super. So yes, I know, usually I use the... Royal Flame, Song of Flame, but why not use Winter's Thrath for this run? Because you get your super a lot, and they buffed it quite a lot. For all Roman supers, for Warlock, for Titan, for Hunter. I mean, I don't really mind that they buff all the Roman supers, so that means that we could use it. For GMs, and of course, this week for the GM, we have the mod called Bran, where we get a lot of health, but it can't heal you. But it doesn't really matter because we're on Warlock, we can just pop our healing thread, we can pop the Devour. This is basically the video of where hunters, where Void Hunters wish they had this, but they just don't have it at the moment. I actually feel bad for Void Hunters this season. I feel like they're getting bullied by Bungie quite a lot. So we're not going to turn invisible, alright? I'm not a hunter main. I don't have a main. So fun fact about me, I don't really have a main. I don't have a main for Titan. I don't have a main for Hunter and Warlock. Just to let everyone know if anyone's curious. Who do you main Blitz? I don't have one. I like all of them. All of the characters, they have their all unique strengths and their weaknesses, and I love all of them. I don't hate any of the subclasses. We're gonna go spam Prismatic. We're gonna go and take down the Stalkers, take down all the ads. When we did capture the plate, we're just gonna push forward and then just pop a healing rift if you have one. How do you recommend? We're gonna just melee, reload our weapon. Yes, these corrupted raiders are the worst, but because of the power of the prismatic in Winter's Wrath. But if you don't like Winter's Wrath, it doesn't mean that it's required, but you could just use some of flame. We're gonna harass the Overload and the Unstoppable Champion. I'm just gonna use the Winter's Wrath, the Power of the Stasis, the Stasis Turret, and we're gonna take down all these champions and then just make our way to the next area very soon. You can also use Anarchy, but since I'm using the Allloading Holster on the Stasis Grenade, I can shoot two Anarchy, I can quickly switch to my Stasis Grenades. Now 
Now we're gonna go bunny hop our way. Yes, I love to call the warlock the bunny hop when I'm trying to speed up a bit. So make sure you bunny hop. Bunny hop your way to the next area. The next area is gonna be pretty interesting. This is gonna be the area where hunters just wish they could do a certain method, but they can't. And I'll show you what I mean. So now we're gonna go and throw a stasis turret and a little bit of anarchy if you have a lot of anarchy. We're gonna pop the, we're gonna pop the stasis grenade. We're gonna pop the enhanced turret. I'm gonna go sneak in to the other side. You know, this area where hunters can't really jump here. I mean, you can, but it's just a lot of work. I'm gonna go sneak in to deal with the overload champion. We also have a shock bang. Yes, the electric bang. I can't think of any nicknames at the moment for it, the shockers because they're not really as dangerous or annoying. The most annoying, in my honest opinion, is the, well, dare I say the meteor, since I haven't seen one. And of course the drainer and the healer. I really hate the healer. I mean, people think the healer is not bad. The healer is really bad, trust me. I did some testing where I was trying to kill a knight and with Galahorn, one little rocket couldn't kill a knight and it slowly backed away, trolling me. You know, I was just so speechless. I actually have the footage if you don't believe me. I might post it on Twitter, maybe. I'm not sure, but I'm serious. I'm not over exaggerating. Use, I popped a Galahorn as a, you know, it's just a test of DPS and the healer healed it and it, it's like, nah, Blitz, no Galahorn for you. So now we're going to be going to the next area and we're going to deal with these scripts. You can use the pulse rifle. The pulse rifle I'm using is the jolt feedback and stats for all. This pulse rifle is really good because a new artifact mod we have for arc deals more damage. You can blind them. It's really good. Why not use it? And then I'm using Anarchy as well, so Anarchy should be doing more damage than before. So now I'm going to be throwing or shooting Stasis Grenade. I'm going to go and spam the bungee out of it. We can take down all the Scrivs, all the Raiders, and then I'm going to go on top of this platform. You don't have to. It's just me i really like going up here i like going here on hunter i like going on here on titan warlock all right it's a nice cozy spot because i can pop a healing rift i can use anarchy and then just spam my dps i am going to shoot a bunch of scripts to see if i can get some special ammo for the boss fight but unfortunately i had bad luck so now we're going to go to the next area. Now you're probably thinking, oh no, Blitz, you got no invisibility. You're going to have a hard time capturing the two plates. Hold my ghosts. Hold my bunny ghosts. Because I'm going to show you that any character you can go on the plates, alright? It's not just Hunter Hunter. I just go on Hunter because, you know, it's requested. Why not go on Hunter? You know, there are players who main hunters, alright? Alright, give them a break. Give them a break. So, let them use their invis to capture the plates. So now I'm going to pop a healing rift, we're going to capture the plate, so it's going to take around 20 seconds. Now, on the old version, from what I remember, I had to stand on this plate, jump back to the statue, back and forth. That's basically what I did the old way, you know, the most challenging way, where 
you couldn't really stand here. It was extremely difficult at that time. So just, just let everyone, everyone know that the old method is you stand a little bit here. Do you stand on top of the statue? You shoot the grenade launcher. Nobody cares, Blitz! Who cares? I'm just being honest of the old GM version. I mean, now GMs are kind of a joke this season or this week, especially with the Braun mod. You know, like Bungie is basically telling players, GMs are easy, try it now. You know? Alright, we're gonna go to the second plate. Now, the second play, there will be ad spawns from the far back. Now, what I usually did on the old version is, once again, I pop a healing rib, I try to clear down ads as much as I can. I used to, you know, add spawn kill. Spawn kill the script, spawn kill the fireball. Do I dare say it? 101. Fireball Nojutsu! OMG. I even can't believe I am dealing with a major that even has that ability with the chakra. Alright, so once we capture the two plates, we're gonna go to the next area. The next area is the Unstoppable Champion and some of the corrupted majors or stalkers. My bad for that. Make sure you take them down, use your finisher if you see the finisher icon. It has like a yellow dot, if anyone's wondering. I'm gonna clear the corruption so I can teleport my way to the next area. This is the area where you're gonna be at the boss fight. So make sure you don't fall down. Make sure you clear the ads if there is extra heavy bricks or heavy ammo, make sure you save it because you can use it at the boss fight. So now we're going to be dealing with a sniper. And yes, I did say in my old videos that there are five types of Ovalo champions. Now you're probably wondering, okay Blitz, what are the types of the five Ovalo champions? The five Scorn Ovalo champions? Well, I'll tell you. So there's the Solar Overload Champion, the Solar Scorn Overload Champion. And there is the Void Seeker Overload Champion. There's the Arc Overload Champion, the one that just shoots Arc like crazy. And trust me, those champions are a nightmare on Hollow Layer. Like, I mean, if you think they're harmless, okay. If you watch my old video, You'll see how dangerous they are. Yes, and then we got the Sniper of Low Champion. And then last is the Lava. Yes, there is a Lava of Low Champion. So now you know the five types of the Scorn of Low Champions. And all of them are actually in this Nightfall. And there is actually a couple of them at Hollow Lair, if I remember. But I know Hollow Lair is Sunset, but maybe they're going to bring it back since we do see that boss in the story. But anyway, we're gonna go and deal with two more champions. And I am gonna be using the Transcendence. So I am using Transcendence. I'm gonna pop the Healing Rift or use the Healing Rift. Some of the enemies are tethered, so I could've cleared the ads a little bit better so I wouldn't have to deal with the void grenades but it doesn't really matter because I'm on warlock I can just use my healing breath if my health is getting low I don't really need to use a ore build not really so much especially for this build I'm using so we're gonna deal with the overload champion and then once we take down the overload champion I'm going to be waiting for my grenade so I can use it at the bridge. So I'm going to do a mini time skip. After spending a minute of my life, we're going to go to the bridge. Now there's going to be two unstoppable champions and two mini bosses. They're either going to be the arc mini boss or the lava 
as you can see right now. Which I told you there is some lava enemies or overload champions in this nightfall. Now I'm gonna go use the transcendence. Then later on I will use my super if I have to. Now I kind of had to because the Asalo champions were being a little bit aggressive. There is a bang and I think he is a drainer. But we took it down. Almost. But anyway, make sure you tag a bit of anarchy. I usually hide here. I don't really go over here. I got extremely impatient. I usually just go run back to the bridge but I just didn't have the patience and the reason why that spot can be dangerous is the stalkers can throw grenades at you and that's another thing you need to clear all the ads if you want to go to that spot if not then the stalkers are going to throw grenades at you pretty much and you'll be sent back to orbit so now I'm going to be going to the boss fight this is going to be so fun for you guys but not for me so before I start the boss fight, I'm going to throw Stasis turret. Blitz, that's cheating! No, it's not. It's called skills. Alright, I'm just trying to set up a trap so I can make life easier to deal with the Overlord Champion. So we are going to take down the Overlord Champion. We use a Stasis turret so we can do damage. I'm using Finisher and then now I'm going to be doing more DPS to deal with the Champion. Yes, I know the super isn't the strongest, but why not use it? Why not use it on ads? Why not use it at the boss? I mean, the thing is, I'm gonna get my super again pretty fast, and you'll see what I mean. So now I'm gonna be doing some DPS, these transcendence, just throw grenades, and then just use grenade launcher to spawn kill, and then just take my sweet time to do DPS at the boss. Also, he likes to use this ability to immune himself, so make sure you take that down. And yes, I am spamming Anarchy. Why not spam it? I mean, I know I haven't used Anarchy in my videos. I try to avoid it, but I thought this week we're going to be using Anarchy since it is the meta for this season. We are almost done doing DPS at the boss, so I was just trying to clear a bunch of ads here and there. I did shoot one little anarchy and that was enough for me to get teleported to the other room. Now this is the room where previously, so I am going to take down the scribs and then just take down the raiders. And I forgot to mention this, when you are in the stasis thrift, you get a stasis soul like i know we're familiar with the healing orb or the healing soul and with the arc orb but we get the stasis orb but it only shows up when you are on the stasis drift which is unfortunate you can't really go around like the getaway artist but anyway i'm gonna throw another stasis turret and I'm going to be clearing out the ads, or I could skip them, you know, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to take my time of dealing with the ads, have a little fun dealing with the scripts, just to show you that this GM is a joke with all these abilities. You remember the old version when the scripts one-shot me? Yeah, those were the good old days. Alright, I'm gonna go and throw a stasis turret. I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go deal with the overload champion. This is a spot I usually go on the old version. I usually go up here because this overload champion, the arc one, a pain in the bungee. I remember he used to just three shot me with this arc ability it was just ridiculous it's even more ridiculous at the boss fight or at hollow layer trust me it's really annoying so now we're gonna go at the second phase and the second phase is the unstoppable champion that will spawn so let's talk about old version and new version so on the old version it is crucial and even for this but 
mainly the old version. It is extremely crucial to take down this whole champion. If not, you're gonna have a hard time at the boss fight. And yes, I am going to want to want to fireball no jutsu, bang. You just won't leave me alone. Oh my goodness. Probably we took one of the bangs, but anyway, yes, it is crucial to take down the Sun Champion at the old version. For the new version, yes, definitely take your time to take down. So make sure you do take down Sun Champion even for this season. It will make life easier. And I gotta be really honest, I'm seeing a lot of Fireball Nujutsu lately. Now, we, I think we have a Drainer. Nope, I'm wrong. We have a Shield Bang. Now, that's the good news. The Shield Bang are not as annoying. They do give over shields, but trust me, the healer is the worst and the Drainer. So now we're gonna go to the next area. Yes, this area. So make sure you throw a Stasis Turret. And then we're gonna deal with all these ads, these Raiders. Stalkers. I don't think there's stalkers in this room. I think there is the corrupted raiders. Maybe the lurkers. I don't remember 100%. When you do take down all these ads, then there's going to be another overload champion. And the overload champion likes to shoot snipe. Likes to snipe. And... There was a bug on the old version. I'm pretty sure there is a still a bug. Maybe oh they fixed it. I'm not sure. I can't really tell because of this mod. The overload snipers won't shot you. But I I know that because I was farming birth of the birthplace of the Vi on you know, trying to get the solo done. It was extremely difficult. So there was bugs where they can one-shot me and raiders that can one-shot me at the boss fight. Now we're gonna go to the next phase, the last phase. So during the last phase, I got impatient. There is a lava overload champion. Make sure you take it down. Usually the lava can one-shot you, but not in this version. The old version it did. Well, two shot you. I wouldn't say one-shot. But now we're gonna go do DPS at the boss. And I got extremely impatient. I didn't feel like doing ad kill spawns. You know, why not play a little bit aggressive for this footage? So now I'm just gonna go spam anarchy, throw grenades, melee, stasis grenade launcher. Just take down this boss and get it done and over it. On purpose, I was making the boss stomp so I can make it stay in one place and then use my super and then finally I take down the boss and he just falls down. He knows warlocks are just too powerful and titans but it's still sad for the void hunters. They still disable the tether for the dungeon just to let everyone know. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.